Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, in the spirit of Halloween, as you could probably read by the title of this video, I am going to be telling you guys a few ghost stories. I want to make this a series based on true events that I have experienced. So there might be probably three or four of these videos. And in the spirit of Halloween, I have my skeleton earrings on and my glowy light up eyes. Yeah. So, before we get into it, grab a drink, some popcorn, sit back and relax, maybe turn on the lights or turn them off if you like to be extra scared. Um, yeah, get cozy, get your snack, and get ready for the story. Okay, so let's take it back maybe a year ago or two. I don't really remember. Probably three o'clock in the morning and... I'm sleeping good, all is well in the world when you're asleep. Now, my house is not, well, the house I lived in was not haunted, nobody died there, but in that house, for a period of years in my life, I was experiencing some stuff, and, okay, I'm going too deep into this. I'm dreaming dreams, and... All of a sudden, I hear a woman's voice in my ear. And it's not from a distance. It's not in the other end of the room. No, it's, it's right, right, right here, right in my ear. It wakes me up. I'm a light sleeper, you guys. And I was not dreaming because it woke me up. I felt, I could feel, I felt like they touched me, whoever it was, whatever it was. I thought they touched me when they spoke. And all I hear is the words, I love you. What? Now you might be thinking, well, that's sweet. That is just so nice. But <laughs> at three in the morning when you're asleep and there's no one in your room, and someone's whispering that they love you in your ear and there's no one there. Yeah, I don't I don't know how sweet and nice that is. Now the weird thing, I thought, okay, well it scared the bejesus out of me. They said I love you, they touched me because I felt it, and then I was scared. But I was not threatened, you know? I wasn't like, oh my god, I'm not gonna die, you know? Um, I was just, I, I was just really scared, but I didn't feel threatened. It didn't feel malicious or like, you know, mean. Um, it didn't sound mean either. It was just like, I love you. And so in the moment I'm terrified. I turn, I look, no one there. I kind of like scooch in my, in my blankets and in my comforter and I'm scared Okay, <laughs> it's pitch dark in my room. I don't sleep with lights, nothing, nada. It's like two or three in the morning too, so I'm not about to bust out and like go wake everyone up and tell them what just happened. I was kind of scared, like not moving, you know? I'm in my covers, I'm covering my ears, like with my, my comforter. Well, my head's on the pillow, comforter's on the ear. And I'm kind of just like, like laying there. I'm in, I'm, I'm in shock, you know? I'm in shock. I'm half awake and half asleep. Something just talked in my ear and I don't know what's going on. I'm in shock. So it took me like a good hour and a half to fall back asleep. And then I wake up in the morning. I think, what the fuck just happened? I, how I slept, I don't even know. I don't even know. I've never heard, I've never experienced anything like that where a ghost is talking in my ear, just right here. And then it dawned on me when I woke up that this ghost did not touch me. Such a moron, but that's, you know, my half asleep brain. Hey, I'm in the middle of filming. Oh, sorry. You look pretty. Thanks. All right, I'll call you later. Okay. All right, bye. 
That was mother. All right, so what was I saying? It dawned on me in the morning that this ghost did not touch my ear and whisper, I love you. It did whisper, I love you, but it wasn't touching me. It was the breath. It was the breath. It was the breath that I felt. The ghost whispered, I love you, and I could feel the breath on my ear. (laughs) I could feel the breath on my ear. The ghost had a voice and breath coming out into my ear and woke me up. That's what it was. (sighs) Ghosts have air like we do, and that was fucking weird. And a really interesting realization when I woke up, I was like, what was I thinking? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but it breathed on me and it said, I love you. And I thought maybe, you know, maybe I believe in spirits and that our families and our loved ones that have passed and gone to beautiful places. I believe that they watch over us. That's just what I believe. So I thought maybe this is someone I know, maybe that's passed and gone. Okay, so then let's let's go through the details. This ghost is a woman. Okay, that's all I know. She's a woman. So I have to think... How many women do I know that have passed away? And I could only think of one. Luckily. I'm lucky. I'm a lucky person. I haven't had to go through a lot of loss in my... A human... Of humans. Loss of humans in my life. I'm very lucky. God bless. Thank you, Jesus. Um, the only woman that I know of that has passed away is my great grandmother, my mom's grandma. The thing with her is that she is Hispanic and fluent in in Spanish. She, she does not have a normal accent. She has a, it's, cannot talk. Uh, she has a, Spanish accent. There you go. She has a Spanish accent. She had a Spanish accent. So this ghost didn't have an accent, just like straight American. I don't know if I sound like, I don't think I have an accent because I don't even know Spanish. So that rules out my theory of maybe it's my great grandma, unless, but I'm I'm sure that when you pass away, your ghosts, your spirit, it has the same voice. It didn't sound like her in the moment. It didn't really sound like her. So I think it was just a random ghost or maybe it was my guardian or like, you know, I think we do have guardians and maybe it was one of them or maybe we only only have one of them. I have no idea. Maybe it was a random ghost. Maybe I was having a bad day and the ghost felt sorry for me and was like, I love you. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know, but that's probably single-handedly the coolest, craziest, up-close-and-personal-experience, paranormal experience that I've ever had. That's the only time I've ever, like, physically felt a voice. I felt it on my ear, um, because I I heard it and then I touched my ear because, like, it felt a voice touching me. Um, but it wasn't. It was the breath. The breath. The breath of a ghost. So, yeah. Crazy story, I know. So simple, but yet terrifying. If that happened to you, come on. You're telling me you wouldn't shit your pants? Because I think you would. Ghosts talking to me in my sleep, telling me they love me, which is creepy. And also very soothing, and I appreciate that, ghost. I love you too. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little ghost story. It is true. It's not something I'm fabricating, or else it would have been way more dramatic, you know, but... I hope you guys enjoyed the ghost story. I'd love to hear some of your guys' experiences. I wholeheartedly believe in the paranormal. You know, you don't have to believe in paranormal. I thought this would be a really cool video to make because I really kind of wanted to share my paranormal experiences with you guys because it's something that I'm really passionate about, um, which is also a really sketchy world to deal with. Um, I'd love to hear some of your guys' own experiences. Tell me in the comments down below if you've ever experienced anything. I'd love to hear it or read it. I'd love to read it. Oh, I hope you guys are excited for Halloween, whatever your plans are. If you have plans, if you don't, movies, ghost adventures, candy, and pizza. It's all you need, you know? So there hopefully, I will be doing more videos like this, telling you about my ghost stories. 
Um, I must, I'm, I don't know what to call it. Maybe ghost stories. <laughs> I don't know. It seems pretty straightforward. I hope that this freaked you out a little bit or gave you a little bit of a scare. I hope so. <laughs> Cause that's kind of the point, you know, I hope you enjoy the future ghost story videos and I will, I don't, I think this will be up before Halloween. So I don't know if I'll, I don't think I'll have another video posted before Halloween. So this is me wishing you guys a happy Halloween. I hope you have a great evening and day get lots of candy, be careful with what you eat, and um, yeah, just enjoy your night. Um, I, appreciate you, I appreciate you guys for being with me, and if you're new to my channel, then subscribe for future stuff. So stay creepy, stay good, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Okay, so I turned off one of my lights over there. Because I wanted to show you guys these eyeballs. I got them at Claire's. They're so cute. Stores don't have cute Halloween accessories like Claire's, you know? They're so fun. Happy Halloween! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>